This is Mr. Joe from Virtuobotics. Today we're going to be doing the first in a series of letting the blue smoke out. So, so far I've taught you all the ways to use an MPN transistor properly. So today I'm going to show you how not to use an MPN transistor. And like all those other shows, you're not supposed to do this at home, uh, even though I know you will. So, but I told you not to, so I'm okay. Alrighty, so let's go over to our setup and start playing. Okay, so this circuit should look fairly familiar to you. This is the same MPN transistor circuit that we had before with a generic load and the uh, I.O. controlling through the base through a thousand ohm resistor. Um, and of course, what our load was was a resistor and a light emitting diode, right? So let's draw that back in. Okay. So that is the proper way to set this up. There is, however, um, a danger, and that is to allow too much current to pass through the base itself. This circuit should look pretty familiar. Let's see if we can get it over here. Okay. Basically, it's the same one we had before, uh, except for rather than using a jumper wire, I just took the uh, I took the emitter straight to ground to save the trouble. I uh, still have the 1,000 ohm resistor here and the 100 ohm and then the light. So what I have is I have this connected up to a, uh, a variable... DC voltage supply, right? And so this DC voltage supply is currently set to about 5 volts. Um, this is our control line here to the base, setting it up to the high, which turns the LED on. So what happens if we <laughs> change things? All right, so the, the classic way for this to get really fudged up is to do this on accident. If you were to put your LED in backwards, right? I'll draw the lines even though obviously no light will come out. But there you go. So, so if our LED was put in backwards, that means that no current can go through the uh, collector to the emitter. That means uh, that all of the current that is flowing is going to the base, um, which is bad. It's like reverse biasing a diode. If you don't have any current going through here and all the current ends up going through there, um, it's bad juju because you're usually looking at very, very small, like in the microamps type of uh, currents going through the base. When you up that to milliamps or higher, um, yeah, it's cool. That's why we're doing this. But definitely not cool if you're trying to make something work. All right, so first of all, since we have the 1,000 ohm on the base, this shouldn't be an issue. Let's, let's see what happens if we reverse bias. So turn off your power supply first. We'll turn this around. And the other way to get this on accident is if you don't supply enough voltage to turn the LED on. And definitely be careful when touching a transistor like that unless you want to have the not so cool version of the Indiana Jones uh, burn mark on your hand. Um, okay, so everything looks fine. I don't feel any ambient heat. This isn't heating up at all. Um, the reason is that we were smart and followed the rules and we put that on the base. The 1000 ohm resistor keeps the current from ever going beyond some kind of safe point. However, uh, what we can do, turn this off again, if we were to remove this base resistor and just directly short to the base, okay, that is where things get bad. So essentially what we have by doing this, um, I'll, I'll remove it from the circuit too, we'll just take everything off up here. 
Okay. Now we have a floating collector and we have the base shorted directly to our high input and our uh, emitter onto ground. Okay, so that is this. We are floating. Let's see what happens. Right now we have it on five volts. Turning it on. This is just at five volts. We have zero amperage going through. 26 degrees. Let's ramp things up. Ooh, I hear it popping. Okay. These aren't really meant to heat up too much, so we may not get too much. But uh, if you didn't hear it, there's a little pop of uh, dismay. Basically, that killed the transistor very quickly. Um, the smaller transistors will sometimes actually go up in flames. Uh, I've only gotten it to happen once or twice. We'll try one more. See if we get lucky. Let's see what happens. Yeah, buddy. It exploded. I hope you caught that because I will not be able to repeat that. Alrighty. That is why I suggested wear safety glasses. Yeah, when you get an instant burst like that, you have a good chance of getting an explosion. This has been letting the blue smoke out, and uh, we exploded a transistor, so congrats to us. Let me know what you want to uh, do next time in the comments below, and I will see what I can do. And I look forward to seeing you at virtualbotics.com here on YouTube.